Hello everyone, welcome back to TLT Studio. It's a pleasure to have you back with us. Now today we're going to look at canvas size. Now what I'm going to show you guys today is how to create and save preset document in Photoshop. All right guys, so let's jump right in. Please remember to hit that subscription button and turn on the notification bell. All right, thank you so much. We're gonna jump right into Photoshop and this is the welcome screen of Photoshop all right so we're gonna go over to create new and then we have this pop-up box here all right so in this section this is where you will create your documents so this is how you create new documents in Photoshop and this is how you also create preset documents now the beauty of preset documents is that when you save and as you can see right here, these are saved documents, or better yet, saved presets. So if you are a designer and you normally create like thumbnails, status, posts, Instagram, etc., you know, you don't want to do the same thing over and over and over. So once you create the preset, all you would have to do is just click and all of the settings that you would like the document to have, it will be already there, all right? So just like this YouTube thumbnail, which I want to be 1280 by 720 pixel at 72 resolution. So all of that information is already set and all I have to do is come right in and double click and then I will open a document that is 1280 by 70 just like that if i did not have that preset i would have to go over here go over here type in 1280 all right by 720 every single time i am creating a project so now you get the drift of it all right now Today, what I'm going to show you is how to save the preset. So today, I want to save this information. So this information is Instagram profile picture size, which is 320 by 320 pixels, all right? If I use Instagram and I would like to post my profile pictures, I would want it to be in the correct dimension. So I would like to create a preset for this all right seeing that this is something I do regular all right so it's 320 by 320 so we're gonna go over back to Photoshop all right and then we're going to set the dimensions so remember it is 320 by 320 all right so I'm just gonna 320 all right and I want the orientation to be, no, I'm not going to trouble the orientation. So that is fine. I want the resolution to be 72. And I want the color mode to be RGB. Because remember, this is going to be a digital project. All right. The background is white. All right. Let us change it to black. And that's what I want to start with. All right. We can further go down to advanced settings and these settings are, you know, we don't really mess with those settings. We just leave it as is. All right. Now, instead of you clicking create, what you're going to do, you're going to go up here and where you see the icon with the arrow going down. So this is like a save icon. So you're going to click on that. What it is asking you to do is to name your preset. All right, so what I'm going to do is just copy and paste the information because that's what it is, the Instagram profile picture size. All right, so I'm going to paste it right in and that's what it is. All right, and what, what we're going to do next is we're going to click on save preset. All right, wonderful. So as you can see, once, once you go over to the save tab, we now have an additional save preset by the name of Instagram profile picture size, all right, which is of the dimensions 320 by 320 
72 resolution and with a black background. So we're going to create. See, now we have the, the document which is at the right dimensions. Now the beauty of the preset is that once I close out and I go back in, all of those information is already saved. So I don't have to go back in and create a new document, a new document, you know, listing out all of the specifications that I want in the document because it is already saved. So all I would have to do is just come right in. Okay, I want to make a profile picture today and just come right in, double click, and there we're going to have the document which is at the right size all right so, so thank you so much for watching have a good day and please remember to subscribe like comment and share